This is Dr. Pedus Ewema. He used to be a professional nurse when he arrived in Australia. But after a few short years, he enrolled in medical school and eventually qualified as a medical doctor. Dr. Ewema also serves as president of the Nigerian Association of Western Australia. He's very concerned about the negative image of Nigeria and Nigerians across the world. He saw an opportunity to correct this when he was invited for the launch of Gibbers Moon Over Lagos, a book written by Pamela Watson. His invitation included a chance to speak to the audience. I want to uh, recognize the indigenous owners of the land on which we are meeting today. I grew up partially in Lagos State. <laughs> so I probably can tell you a bit more about Lagos than you know. Many of you may have heard uh, horrendous stories of uh, Nigeria and Nigerians and uh, like Pamela did mention, people have been scammed um, through love, people have been scammed through businesses, but there is obviously more to Nigeria than what you read in the media. In the USA, I say in the USA because the USA is quite similar to Australia in a lot of ways. 4% of Nigerians who live in the USA have PhDs. And this as opposed to 1% of Americans. In fact, Nigerians have the greatest number of PhDs in the USA. We have the greatest percentage of graduates who have bachelor's degrees. There are Nigerians doing a lot of good stuff here in this country. We probably have more GPs than many of the countries that migrate to Western Australia. And Dr. Ewema says he himself is an example. I came to this country as a registered nurse and I worked my way to become a medical doctor. So this is one of the stories that we need to tell about Nigeria. Not just the scammers, they represent less than 0.05% of Nigerian population, which is at the moment close to 200 million. So this is a big country, diverse nation, very plural in our religious beliefs, in our cultural identity. So there's way too many things that we can celebrate Nigeria for. Nigeria as a nation has once again become the biggest economy in Africa with 450 billion in GDP. It's something to be proud of. To be sure he's not dismissed as being just a blind patriot, Dr. Ewema also pointed to the real challenges facing Nigeria. We have a country where uh, competence is replaced by connection. Where people get into positions because of who they know, not what they know. But we're trying to change the narrative. Here in Western Australia, the Nigerian Association of Western Australia is committed. We have unwavering commitment to changing the story about Nigeria here. Creating a harmonious society where, in spite of our ethnic identities, whether you're Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, Edo, we want to come together as one. Many Nigerians are looking for better opportunities around the world, but he says the real wealth is back in Nigeria. We have Nigerians who have come to this country because they think there are opportunities. But I can tell you, if our country, Nigeria, improves, and if we happen to have good leaders, there are way more opportunities in Nigeria than you can see in most of the Western countries. And this is the truth. We've been plagued by poor leadership. People who would not become councillors in Australia, who would not sit in the local government council, are governors, pres president, and ministers. <laughs> We are led by a cover that puts religion and tribe before competence and commitment. And this is our story. We can, one Nigerian at a time, change that story. According to Dr. Ewema, there are about 2,000 Nigerians living in Western Australia. And for the modest audience at the University of Western Australia, Dr. Pedus Ewema did really come across as a passionate advocate for Nigeria and Nigerians. Yo.
African Pod Business Forum is a production of African Pod Media in Perth. For more, subscribe to African Pod Business Forum on audio and video podcast. We are on Apple Podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, or wherever you listen to your podcast. And to find us on YouTube, just search for African Pod Business Forum. <laughs>